What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here. We're going to be talking about another rad movie review today. I got a chance to catch Space Jam, A New Legacy. And oh man, let's, let's talk about this film. Let's get into this. It's going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. So Space Jam, A New Legacy is the new film. It's by Warner Brothers, and you can definitely tell for sure it's by Warner Brothers because every property they have shows up in this film. It's starring LeBron James, and this is kind of like the new generation Space Jam and all that kind of stuff. So let's, let's get into this film, and we're going to talk about the positives first. And my one, one really only key positive in this film, pretty much, is Don Cheadle. Like, every everything else is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Like, Don Cheadle, I feel like he's just one of those actors, no matter what. If you gave him the worst part in the world, he would somehow develop it into some kind of character that you're going to get some kind of enjoyment out of watching. And like I said, Don Cheadle is literally, like, the only character that I got enjoyment out of watching like this movie kind of screwed up a lot of characters from my childhood for me like that's what kind of sucks is like it just oh man since we got that positive out of the way Don Cheadle bless your heart for being in this film <laughs> Let, let's get on to the negatives of this film so pretty much like our main negatives is just like everything else I feel like this this film it's just basically a CGI just vomit fest of like the most ridiculous graphics like all over the place like introducing the you know the the cyberverse place where they go into and they get sucked into by Don Cheadle's character like oh man it's just and add to that Warner Brothers just uses this film to like basically use every opportunity to just drop all their properties in this film like Game of Thrones Matrix Harry Potter like there's references to everything they own in this movie King Kong and all that kind of stuff and I feel like it's just like kind of ridiculous. They even got properties for some things that aren't even Warner Brothers and they got to bring in to have guest spots on the show and the movie. And I just like, ah. Oh. I think another part of the problem with this film is they had six different writers, I found out, for this film. And when you have that many people, like these are six like grown, you know, grown up people together. I don't know if they sat in the same room or they're in separate rooms or they even talk to each other, but it just feels like it's just too much. Like there were just too many cooks in the kitchen. This film has no focus. It's just like a bananas just gone wild. And like, it's not Looney Tune wild, like good. Like it's not a good Looney Tune wild. And like I said, this film kind of screws up a lot of like my favorite characters. Like I love Bugs and I love Tasmanian Devil and some of those characters. Like I used to really enjoy watching them speedy gonzalez all those characters and in this film it kind of ruins all of them for me like it's just it's a movie that i'm just like why did they even do this and then like in my mind i'm thinking like of course like the only main reason you would want to do something like this is for money like it's basically always about money with certain projects like this and that's what it feels like this film's about it doesn't, you know, it's not like something they created to like make an homage to the first one because they only referenced the first one like maybe in a couple lines. They don't actually talk like, you know what I mean? There's just a couple lines and they reference the first one. And it's just like, oh, man, all the choices were the wrong choices. I didn't like the actors and LeBron James is by far not a great actor like you can kind of tell like it it seems like he's taking cues off screen like off camera from somebody who's standing right there either feeding him lines or telling him like you know the blocking sections on where to move in the scene and it's just uh, it's so bad like I really didn't think it would be this bad I thought it would be kind of averagely good like at least below average or close to average you know what I mean of a film but this is this is a pretty bad film like for oh man well, let's just get into this rad rating score so we can talk about <laughs> my rad rating score for this film is gonna get a three out of ten like I said it's just don't like I wouldn't waste your time with this film I wouldn't like you know I, it's hard for me to say that because a lot of films I don't talk about that much where I don't dislike them that much and I warn people not to see them but this is like kind of one of those films where I would just say like, you know, don't waste your time, your money. You know, there's a lot of other better films out there that you could check out or that I could recommend for you to watch besides this film. Even being a basketball fan, like I love basketball and there's not actual 
true basketball in this movie and that's what kind of sucks like there's just some things in this movie like i said they made all the wrong choices too many cooks in the kitchen and it's just uh you get lebron james to be your main star and we know he's not a great actor so it's just it was a failed project i think failed from the beginning and the fact that warner brothers just kind of used it to drop all their properties in and you know show off like what we own it's just kind of like a flexing move type movie that's not a good movie but thanks for sticking around with me i hope you enjoyed this other rad movie review definitely leave a like and hit that subscribe button it definitely helps out the channel so you can stay up to date on all the content that i put out have a safe and happy day everyone peace out